Now you're going to see our F-150. This is a kit that installs in about a day. I just took a normal F-150, took the six-cylinder engine out of it. And as you can see, we kept all the OEM parts in here. We kept the alternator, the compressor. We even kept the Ford brackets, the pulleys. Uh, we kept the whole braking system. Uh, the reservoir is the same. Uh, all the computer OEM works. Uh, factory battery. And uh, everything's factory in there. Factory transmission too. So now we're going to go for a ride. speedometer works we're doing about 30 miles an hour I got bigger tires on it so we're actually going a little bit faster than what it says as you can see we're picking up speed pretty fast uh, I'll get on the highway and uh, of course it goes a lot faster but we're on a back road so I'm gonna have to cut it back a little bit braking system works really well we're gonna lock it up right here as you can see the whole ABS braking system works really good on it so we're gonna take off again here stick now this does work we put a special bearing in the electric motor so for the stick shift but on the automatics it does not require special bearing so we're going to just want to go take it on the highway so i can't see anything so we are going to the lights work as you can see windshield wipers work everything works OEM. Uh, nothing's really changed inside here and we're going to go up that red light and we're going to go up the highway This car will go about 60 miles on a charge. Uh, we're working on other systems uh, and battery packs. It'll take it over 100 miles, but for right now, this one will go approximately 60 miles on one charge. Uh, driving it casually. If you try to race it, you're gonna decrease it by about 20%, up to 30% if you're racing it. And this thing is uh, raceable if you see this blue wire down here. Uh, I can program while I'm driving down the road and I can turn this into a racetrack. So as you can see, we're going down the road. We're going to start passing traffic here. So it drives just like a normal truck. I think if you gave someone the keys to this truck and didn't tell them it was it wasn't it was electric they probably wouldn't believe you because it drives just like a, a gas vehicle you can see we're doing about 65 miles an hour right now I'm trying to keep it under the speed limit make a u-turn and we're gonna head back the other way and I can still look at my BMS whenever I want to now the BMS will be set up on a pod right here uh, in front of the dash uh, so that it doesn't cut off every time you shut it down which just happened shop we're gonna take a look at the BMS pull in here so you can see a good view of the BMS now as you can see our BMS did really well so all the cells are still at 3.2 which is very very good for the system absolutely no codes detected this system 
is designed the way it should be designed. We don't stress out the batteries. We don't stress out the motors. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna get out and we're gonna take our, our device that tells us temperature and we're gonna show you the temperature of the motor. about normal for an OEM alternator, about 87 degrees. Our electric motor is about 86 degrees, which is very good. Our controller is about 86 degrees too. So as you can see, this system is not stressed out whatsoever. If you treat this right, this vehicle will last about 20 years. Uh, this is Edward Modford with Automani, and we'll see you next time. Ed Monford again, and what I have for you today is an all-electric box truck like you see Ryder or Staples. And this box truck can go up to 19,500 GVW. And what we've done here is we've taken all the OEM parts and we've kept them. The only thing we got rid of was the gas tank and the engine block and the, the, uh, the injectors on top of the engine block. So what we've done is we have kept the air compressor this is the OEM air compressor as you can see we've also kept the belt look at that that's the OEM belt this we've also kept the alternator and the reservoirs and it's all in the same place look the radiators in the same place we're even using that radiator if you come over here I'm going to show you everything else we used so if you look right here we have actually used the the water pump Look at that, that's the OEM water pump from this truck. We've also used the, uh, the power steering as well. Here's the same hoses, look at that, same hoses. And these hoses, they cool this inverter, which powers the electric motor. If you look down in here, you can see the electric motor. That's a 200 kilowatt motor. But here's one of the best things. Here's what no one has done yet. I have used OEM transmission. This is an Allison transmission. I've hooked it up to the electric motor. And I've also used the OEM Allison TCM. And I've used all the same plugs, all the same wiring. Everything is the same. Now all this wiring you see is all going to be cleaned up. This is a prototype stage. We're going to go into production stage. You're not going to see this inverter. It's going to be in a waterproof box. That inverter is going to be in a waterproof box. All of these wires are going to be gone and replace some of the OEM wires. This is OEM wiring harness, and we're going to work with the manufacturer on that. These are the battery packs I'm standing on right now. But right here, you've got the OEM Allison transmission cooler. You've got the air tanks for the brakes. You can see it's still there. And if you come over here, you can see our charger kit back here. So we've got a charger. This is going to be a matter on the back bumper wherever we get that in. We also have a charger in here. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, here we go. You can see a charger down in there. You can't look at that long because that's where a lot of the technology is. But right here, I've got all my wires in here. This is prototype stage. This is all going to go in a nice little control box. You know, I build nice control panels. You look at some of my other videos. This battery box. This is about double the size because it's a prototype. If you look in here, there's a lot of room. So it's still gonna get 100 miles, but we're only gonna use about this much, and it's only gonna be about this high. It's gonna be a lot smaller. So you're gonna see the accessory assembly. Your accessory assembly is off. So that means now we have power everywhere. We have power back to our battery. We have air. Going to our air brakes, our power steering works, hear the uh, blow off on it, you can even start it. I've got little switches in here to help me start it, but you can see all the OEM stuff's going to maintain. This is going to stay here, key switch is going to stay here, key switch is on now. And I'm going to start it.
Hear it revving? Go back there, you can hear it revving. Uh, the brakes, the gauges still work up here. Everything still works. I can put it in reverse. It goes in reverse. I can put it in drive. It goes in drive. I'm going to take off down there real quick. take it out on the highway. I want to show you that this thing can go down the highway. So I'll see you next time. Okay, this is Ed Monfort again. You're going to see this uh, box truck, all electric box truck, go out on the highway. Actually, cooler than the OEM. Alright, that's it. I'll see you next time.